creating videos on ClipChamp. ClipChamp is a free desktop and browser-based video editing app. It was acquired by Microsoft and is now the built-in video editor for Windows 11, replacing the legacy video editor app directly in Microsoft Photos. ClipChamp can also be accessed from the Microsoft Store on Windows 10, or there is a browser-based version available on Google Chrome or Microsoft Edge. With ClipChamp's user-friendly interface, templates, and intelligence shortcuts, you can edit your videos and add special effects, text, transitions, music, and more. You can also record your screen and webcam securely and enjoy advanced features like green screen editing, overlays, and AI voiceovers. There is also a paid Essentials version of the app available. This grants access to an additional library of audio, images, and video stock, the ability to export in 4K, advanced filters and effects, branded content, and cloud backup. In this video, we'll cover the basic features of the free version of ClipChamp to help you create compelling, professional videos. To begin, sign into ClipChamp using your Microsoft account or create a new account for free. On the editor homepage, select Create a new video. You'll notice a blank timeline with a toolbar on the left and right hand side of the screen. The left hand side toolbar will be for adding media content to your video and the right hand side toolbar will be for making all your visual and audio edits later on. When you begin a new project, the Your Media tab will be automatically open. Click on the big Import Media button to upload your videos, images, and audio files directly from your computer, phone, or cloud storage. You can also browse the ClipChamp stock libraries by navigating to the Music and Sound Effects, Stock Video, and Stock Images tabs further down the same toolbar. Any paid content in the stocks library is indicated by a gold diamond icon. ClipChamp will not let you use any of this content in your video without upgrading your account. Another way to add media in ClipChamp is to record directly in the app. Click the Record and Create button and you'll see a few different options. You can record just yourself using camera or your screen using screen. You can record both screen and camera simultaneously. Microsoft has a built-in speaker coach that you can enable when recording yourself. You may already be familiar with this feature from PowerPoint. It will give real-time analysis of your recording speech, including pace, pitch, and filler words. Another interesting feature in this tab is called text-to-speech. Using this, you can type a script that will then be recorded by an AI voice. You can choose from a variety of narrators and even change their language, voice style, voice pitch, and speed. Welcome to my video. Once you have all your media chosen, begin to drag it from the toolbar onto your timeline. Any stock media that you use will be automatically added to your media tab if you add it to the timeline. Your timeline is broken into layers. The video clips go in the middle, the audio goes at the bottom, and any text you'll add will go on top. Once all your content is added to your timeline, you'll want to begin making some basic edits to help with the flow of your story or to remove any mistakes. The easiest way to trim a clip is to select it, then drag from either end to remove unwanted content. This can be useful to remove any extra footage, such as setting up the camera at the beginning of a clip. To make sure you're getting the most accurate edits, you can always zoom in on your timeline by clicking on the Zoom Out and Zoom In magnifying glass icons on the upper right corner of your timeline. If you want to split any clips to maybe use one half near the beginning of your video and another near the end, or even to remove something entirely from the middle of the clip, all you have to do is press the Split scissors icon on the top left of your timeline, or S on your keyboard. This will split the selected clip at the playhead. Now you are free to trim, move, or edit each section of the clip separately. If you do want to change the order of any of your clips, all you have to do is select the clip you'd like to move and drag it to a new location on the timeline. If you'd like to select multiple clips at once, simply click a spot on the timeline above your first chosen clip, then drag. You'll see a green box appear. Drag the box onto all of your chosen clips. You will see their outlines turn green. Release your mouse, and now you can move or make changes to multiple clips at once. Once you've finished trimming all your clips and arranging them in the correct order, you can begin applying creative edits. As we mentioned earlier, all the effects, graphics, and audiovisual editing tools are located in a toolbar on the right-hand side of ClipChamp. The options in this toolbar will change depending on what kind of media you've selected. With a video clip selected, the first tab will be Fade, where you can drag sliders to fade your clip in or out. The next tab is Filters. Here you can play around with various video filters and change their intensity. Then there's Effects, 
where you can apply one or more visual effects to change the behavior of your clip and options to customize these behaviors. These include things like blur or smoke, or even keying effects such as green screen. You can easily preview both the filters and effects by hovering over them in the toolbar. Next is the Adjust Colors tab. In this tab, you can modify the color values including the exposure, contrast, saturation, temperature, transparency, and blend mode. Finally, there is speed, which you can use to speed up or slow down a piece of media by using the slider or entering a custom value. When you have an audio clip selected, the right-hand toolbar has an audio tab that will appear that will allow you to change the volume of the clip. Now that you know the basics of how to make creative edits, we will begin to explore some visual effects, starting with titles. Navigate to the text tab in your left-hand toolbar. Here you can preview and explore various types of titles you can use. To add one to your video, drag it to your timeline. You can change the length of time that the text is displayed on your video by dragging the ends of the purple box that appear when you place it on your timeline. You can also edit the text itself by selecting it and clicking the text tab in the right hand toolbar. You can change what the title says, edit the font, color, background color, size, and position of the text. You can also drag it around on the viewer window itself to alter where the text appears on screen. Next is the graphics tab in the left hand toolbar. Here you can add stickers, backgrounds, frames and overlays, shapes, annotations, and even GIFs and stickers from Giphy. You can make the same adjustments to these as with any other media using the tabs in the right hand toolbar. You can change the size of the graphics as well as any other media, including your original videos by clicking the media on the viewer window itself and dragging it from the corners or drag it around on the viewer window to alter where it appears on screen. There's also a small toolbar that appears to the left of any media that you have selected on the viewer with quick sizing and orientation options. Here you can quickly fill or fit the object to the screen, crop the media, create picture in picture, which can be helpful if you've recorded yourself and your screen at the same time, rotate your media, and flip horizontal or flip vertical. Lastly, chances are, if you have multiple video clips in your timeline, you'll want to make them flow together nicely. This is where transitions come into play. Click on the Transitions tab on the left-hand toolbar. Here you can preview and explore various types of transitions you can use. Drag and drop your chosen transition into the gap between two clips. With the transition selected on your timeline, you can make edits to it in the Transitions tab on the right-hand toolbar. Here you can change the duration of your transition, or choose a different transition entirely. Once you've explored all the editing features of ClipChamp and you're happy with your video, it's time to export. To do that, navigate to the top right corner of your screen and click the export icon. Your video will export as an mp4 file. You'll just need to choose the quality. We will select 1080p. You can then add a title and choose where to save or share your video. Clipchamp can also create a video link for you to share directly online. There is a progress bar to show you how long it will take to export your video. Once that is done, you can go watch your final product to make sure there are no mistakes that you missed in editing. From this point, you can share your finished videos with the world, upload to a video sharing site, or just submit to your professor, wherever is best for you to reach your intended audience. For additional information on creating videos, check out the videos module on the learning portal.